going to be testing SCORN on my Lenovo ThinkBook 13S Gen 4. Going to be running off battery power. And it's the Ryzen 6800U, 16 gigs of RAM. VRAM is set at 2. And I've got it where the enable auto transition to extreme performance is set. Show you the settings I'm using to run this on battery power. Get the Riva tuner out of the way. So for the recording, I got to drop it down to 720p, although that's because of the way I have to record it, because my Atomos Ninja can't uh, record the uh, 800p resolution. But you'd be running in 800p on this laptop because of the aspect ratio of the screen. If you play it on 720p on the actual screen, it's stretched vertically. Uh, for now, just to show you the frame rate swings, we've got VSync turned off and the frame rate limit knocked up to 120. Post processing, it's pretty much the low preset, but post processing I got turned up to medium because if you have it on low, it actually turns off some lights in the game. So there's a lot of spots that look darker than they should be. So you at least want to put that on medium. And we're using the super resolution in performance mode. And I'll run through the intro, uh, initial cutscene, and there's a stressful part right at the first level. This is a stressful scene right at the beginning of the game. So it's a good place to do some uh, benchmark testing when you're changing settings. And I'll show, I've already beaten the game on the Xbox Series X. 
but I'll, uh, I'll show another uh, later level that has a lot of uh, volumetric lighting like this. That's also pretty stressful. Uh, one thing I recommend when you're going through the menu here, turn Riva Tuner off again. Do not play it without motion blur. You see all the jutter. It does the same thing on Series X if you try to play without motion blur. The way they have the camera animation set up, it has tons of jutter. So you need to play you need to play with the motion blur in order to get rid of that jutter. And then your turns look smooth. Also, this game has weird settings when you use it on the controller. Um, up and down and side to side are uh, different sensitivities that you can't change. Up and down is really fast, side to side is slow. And on laptops at least, I have not been able to play this with the PS4 controller. Even if you use DS4 Windows, I'm using an Xbox controller. It's the only thing that seems to work on here. Alright, so this is a later level that has a lot of volumetric lighting. And because I have the frame rate uncapped, you're going to see the battery draining pretty quick while I'm doing this test. I recommend when you're playing this game, when you run into enemies, um, say like 80% of them you do not have to fight. You could either totally backtrack or change floors because you're going to need to conserve ammo. And also, it's uh, you rarely get health in this game as well, so it's not worth fighting a lot of enemies. So if you can backtrack without getting caught in a corner, do that. And on later levels where it lets you change floors, do that as well. See, this is a stressful part right here. When it's loading in new data, the frame rate will dip.